The RoboInfo635 here, reviewing my Hexbug Nanos and my Hexbug Warriors. The Nanos were a great success. They're these little toothbrush um, micro-robots that just drive around by vibration. Um, that's it. <laughs> they can tip over if their batteries are full. Mine are pretty much dead. I think this one's almost full. Yeah. I don't know if you saw that or not. Um, okay, let's get the camera focused. Now we up. Oh, okay, you see that? I'll do it one more time. Okay, so they can flip over by themselves, and they just vibrate around. They do. They you, but you do need to buy some track to be able to have a lot of fun with them, and um, they do get stuck under refrigerators a lot, so. Don't play with them where their refrigerators are by. Um, there you can collect all sorts of colors. This this one is my favorite because it, it was my very first Hexbug Nano. My second favorite is Suey. Um, that's this is my Vikings Hexbug. I really love him. And then the Warriors are huge. They look they look kind of like Nanos. They they work exactly the same except they have a they, they take more batteries and. They have an LED light in the top of their head, so, and you can change out their parts too. So this is what the LED light looks like. They work exactly the same as a regular hex bug. That's training mode, and battle mode is where they go from green, orange, red, and then dead. Now you may be wondering, how do these little parts move around without you know you know? So let me just take it off. Whoops. <laughs> Everything's falling in my hands. They don't have any motors or anything. The vibration is the thing that keeps those things running. Um, the whoever the person that invented the warriors was very smart to think that that vibration could make them turn or like make the make the things turn. All of them, all the parts can pretty much turn. Dang it! Another part fell off. See, it's like when one part gets on. On. When one part gets on, then the other one falls off usually. So that's one thing I didn't like. Alright, there we go. All the parts are on. So now we're going to see rotation. We're going to see these things going around. You can see that? You can see that. Okay, now I have another one where you're going to really be able to see the rotation. This one is the exact same. It doesn't have any motor or anything in it. Just a vibration. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, so you can see it's spinning around. That is what you're going to want to try to hit your enemy with when you're in actual battle mode, and I'll show you battle mode right now. So I'm going to put this on the floor. This one I used parts from. He still works, but he's dead. As you can see. They do that when they're dead, when they like just run for like a second, and then they turn red like that. It tells you in the manual. So you don't need to be worried about that. Alright, let's turn this guy on. It was set all the way to green. So now he's in battle mode plus it's blinking. I would actually recommend buying the actual arena, but I don't have one. So you still are gonna start battling. You see they're bumping into each other. Um, that one is getting hit. It, re it registers the hits with vibration. So it's, it was kind of dumb to do that, but it's all right. So he's pretty much beating him right now. They seem to run into walls more and get hurt more by running into walls than they really do battle actually. So now the, that one's in red and that one, oh they're both red now. So we're going to see which one wins. Uh, any second now. Uh, okay, this one's dead because it's not it's deactivated. This one is still running because it won. This one is dead. It's deactivated now. It's gonna. You can just click the button and the LED light will go out. But you don't have to do that. They'll go out by themselves. But if you don't want to wait that long, you can just press the button. So that's what they are. There's a lot of colors. There's blue, red, green, and yellow. 
I think there's I think there's another color, but I can't remember off the top of my head. I really do like the scarabs. I mean, not the scarab. I like the scarab too, but I really do like the warriors. But I feel like they should make a version two of the warriors because I think that if they put a little more thought into the registering of hits, I think they would work a lot better because they don't work the best because they register their hits through vibration, which. If you have hex bugs, you know that they, you know that hex bugs use vibration to move around. So that was kind of dumb that they decided to have the vibrate the, the registered hits through vibration. So I see it more as they seem to um, get hit more by running in the walls or whatever than actually get hit. But those are the hex bug warriors and nanos. I recommend both of them. The nanos I give them a ten out of ten. And these I give them an 8 out of 10 because I just wish that they would make it so um, they wouldn't be vibrated. I wish it would be like sensors on it. And when something that comes at it or like a magnet or something, I think that would be better for hits. And also because they take a lot of batteries and they run out really fast. But besides that, I love them both. I love them. So that's the review on the Hexbug Nano and uh, Battle um, Warriors, Hexbug Warriors. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and bye.